Hi everyone, I'm Kanur from India and I'm currently studying medicine and surgery at the University of Catania in Italy. Today, I'm going to walk you through the IMAT exam, how it compares to NEET and address some common myths and FAQs surrounding IMAT and studying medicine in Italy. Let's begin with a brief history of the IMAT. The International Medical Admissions Test was started all the way back in 2011. It is the entrance exam for pursuing medicine and surgery programs in government-run universities in Italy. Before 2023, the exam used to be prepared by Cambridge Assessment Admissions Testing but 2023 and onwards, it has been prepared by the Italian Ministry of Education and Research, MUR. Now you may ask, Kanber, how is any of this information relevant? Well, this information is important because it helps us predict the way the exam is going to be set. When Cambridge used to prepare the exam, it had a lot of British BMAT influence in it. There used to be longer analytical passages, heavier logical reasoning and much more emphasis on critical thinking than just pure rote memorization. But recently, since the exam has come under the control of the MUR, there has been a shift in the way the exam assesses the students. The questions now are much more direct and there is less focus on logical interpretation and much more on straightforward recall and knowing facts quickly has become a much bigger advantage something that need students are quite familiar with now like i mentioned before the IMAT has become a bit more comparable with NEET in the way the questions are asked but the two exams are still very different and IMAT questions go a bit more in-depth than the usual NEET question does. On a fundamental level, NEET assesses you in three subjects namely biology, chemistry and physics with 180 questions in total over 180 minutes with each question being graded for 4 marks if it's correct, minus 1 for wrong and 0 if you leave it blank, totaling for a maximum grade of 720. IMAT on the other hand tests you with 6 different subjects, namely general knowledge and reading skills, logical reasoning, biology, chemistry, physics and mathematics. With 60 questions, each being worth one and a half marks, adding up to 90 marks in total, with negative marking being minus 0.4 and no penalty for leaving a question blank. The difference maker between the two exams would be the subjects of general knowledge, logical reasoning and mathematics, but even more so the competition. In need, you are competing with almost 2.3 million students, while in IMAP it is a measly 11,000. Now, what happened last year in IMAT 2024 was something no one expected. The cutoffs soared sky high, and there is a reason for it. The MUR made the exam a bit too straightforward making it easier for everyone. The inflation in scores caused the cutoffs to almost double for certain universities even though the exam was taken by almost the same number of students. The median score almost doubled. Now to tackle this problem I personally believe the MUR could make the exam tougher this year to help differentiate between the well-prepared and theoretically weak students. So, it is wise to prepare harder and take inspiration from the Cambridge IMAT exams and prepare well with more application-based and theory-heavy questions. Although not completely necessary, 
It is recommended to give NEET as NEET qualification is required to practice medicine in India. If in the future you want to come back and appear for FMGE. On the other hand, it is also a question asked during your visa interview. So it is always positive to be NEET qualified, but it's not completely necessary. The medicine and surgery course lasts 6 years with 12 semesters. Yes, the 6 years includes internships but not in the same way as in India. The internships are integrated into the 6 year course and you don't have to explicitly do 1 year of internship like in India. No, surprisingly, the tuition fee is really low because all IMED universities are government run and the tuition fee can go as low as 150 euros for international students, which is equivalent of around 15,000 Indian rupees per year. And that is what I currently pay here at the University of Catania. No, the entirety of the six years will be taught in English. The only exception being, you do need Italian for your clinical rotations in the hospital, as the local people don't usually speak English, but three years are more than enough to learn basic Italian. The score for each section in IMAT is calculated separately then combined and ranked. If two candidates have the same combined scores, the one who scores higher in logical reasoning and general knowledge will be ranked higher. If the score in logical reasoning and general knowledge is also the same, then the ranking is based on the one who scores higher in biology, followed by chemistry, mathematics and physics. If the score in each section is the same, then the candidate who has an English language certificate, let's say IELTS or TOEFL, will be ranked higher. If the candidate has all the necessary documents and everything is the same, then the younger candidate will be ranked higher. Now, the exam itself is usually held in the mid of September and registrations begin for it around two to four weeks before the exam itself. Last year, it was given by roughly 11,000 students. Although the registrations for the exams are three, four weeks before, the documentation procedures have to be started way earlier for non-European students. The candidates can sit for the IMAT either in Italy or test centers located in over 20 countries worldwide, including India, which has test centers in Delhi and Chennai.